there's a couple games that I think people always focus on when they think about your tenure. Uh, one of is the Chile, the 7 nothing. The other is the third game of the World Cup against Sweden, uh, where you lose, and that really kind of costs Mexico the, the first place spot in the group. Between those two games, is there one you think about more, regret more? Absolutely. Against Sweden. Really? Why? Yes, because is uh, at, at halftime we are the score is zero zero, and we we have seven points, seven precious points, and that's it. That that is is is, is telling us we're going to play against uh, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that. That's, Very different than Brazil. That, that, oh, absolutely. What would you have changed? Uh, I, I would have probably introduce mm, Molina, eh, Oribe Peralta, and the guys that could play, that have better aerial game that keep going with Andres and Irving. And, you would try to hold them for the draw? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I, will, I, I, I should, looking back, mm, which is... It's easy. Well, yeah, easier said easy, than done. Right? That's, yeah. yeah. that's how our brain works. It's always taking us to what I should have done. And if I do that in 10, in 10, year, in 10 days, what can happen instead of concentrating? This is the most important game of our lives, and we have to get it resolved here. Mm. Yeah. And, but, again, I did it. Co uh, because I was confident that we could score. And, but I, in the balance, I should have realized the most important thing is not to score, but is that they don't score on us. Yeah. Mm. It's like when the game is 3-0, is the most important game, the most important point is not to score the goal number fourth. It's trying to avoid that the, uh, the opposition get one goal and they, may, they might feel they are into the game. Yeah. So I would have changed that. Whether, on the other hand, the game, that famous game against Chile, <clears throat> I really don't regret it. Uh, because I think 11 days prior to, to that particular game, we have beaten Chile 1-0. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with sufficient arguments, Football arguments, I decided this is our chance. This is, the, this is how Mexican football will take that step forward because we're ready for this, these people. Prophet, correct me. And, 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 and football is like that. Yeah. Now, I have seen that game hundreds of times. Really? And I have compared that to, to the, the, the big defeats in football, like uh, Brazil, Germany, in, yeah, Brazil, Germany, yeah. and what happened is, and the key is that Barcelona, between, Bayern, exactly yeah. the, between the third and the fourth game, between the third and the fourth goal, if there's there's less than five minutes, mm. you better ready to even yourself have to go inside and help your yeah. players not to concede another goal because impossible to stop that. But the beauty of this game and the complexity of this game is that the game doesn't teach you, doesn't tell you you're going to be punished. And in that particular game, you remember in the first half they score, and then we are into the game and, and finishing the first half, they score the second goal. And then, then it's a question for me to resolve. Do I drop back and, and hold it or I try to get a, a, a one goal, and that's what we went for. Mm. Let's try to get a goal. And in the first five minutes, if you rev review it, we had a opportunity. opportunities, and we feel like the game is telling you, you are, you are going to score. You will have one, one goal, and then you are into the game. And then the third goal comes in, and after that is Profe, impossible to stop it. Profe, just uh, for context, that, that also was a, a big campeon of, um, of uh, Copa America, mm -hmm. that Chile team was a very good team. But I, I believe that was the first loss for the Mexican national team under your tenure mm -hmm. uh, with Chile. Did it surprise you that after that game, so many pundits in Mexico, the press was asking for your removal? Oh, 
it was very difficult to understand it. It was chaos, chaos. Uh, but all I did, all I did was to meet with the players and ask everybody, you tell me what you feel. Because if there are three things that I always, always told the players, the day that you don't respect me as a, as a manager, you don't trust me as a manager, and you lose credibility in what we're doing, I will step away. Right. I will go. And after the game, and you remember, the next game is in Salvador. Mm -hmm. And that was very difficult because the, the scenario in Salvador, I remember this has never happened to me before. I, I was on the sideline coaching the team. That's the day that Raul Jimenez got hurt. And I remember receiving all, all types, all kinds of insults mm. and, and people throwing me things and even bags, open bags with urine and getting all over my, my body. And that was tough. Mm. But the players, if you remember, we won, I think, 0-2. Mm -hmm. And then I said, no, I need to keep going. And this guy is really... That they have a Kino, Kino injury? I think he got injured yeah. that game? Yeah, yeah. Yes. This is what we need. This is where we need to have confidence in what we're doing. The players believe in what we're doing, and that's enough for me to continue. But as far as the media, oof, mm. absolutely a hammering mm. and a very difficult situation for me to stand. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.